Guys, look at this place. It looks like the famous gallery in New York. You remember that one, Lisa? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> but now we're in Keys in the uh, Kapuya Library. Yeah. Yep. And guys, we got to begin with this one. Uh, these are the stories, uh, and Lisa will tell us which stories. Yeah, there's interviews with families of prisoners uh, in captivity now. Again, prisoners who are in Russian captivity from Chernobyl. Chernobyl defenders will name it like this. Mm -hmm. uh, this interviews with a sister, one of them. She waiting him for 715 days now, so today. That That's nearly cool. two years, yes. And uh, we understand that Russian captivity, there no any Geneva Convents uh, uh, adhered to them. There are no rules and they're just uh, tortures, like physical one and psychological. So, um, According to coordination staff uh, of Ukraine, coordination staff probably uh, unity. I know. <laughs> yeah, we can't say a lot of uh, details in cap captivity, but here we just uh, ask the families what they feel, uh, feel they feel about uh, person, the relatives who are now in captivity, and of course it's full of uh, sadness, full of uh, pain. Pain, I would yes. Say, yeah. and is that's terrible i would like to not to do this exhibition again but the activity um, keeps keeps uh, going yeah, yeah. yeah that's uh, lisa true. i have a question about yeah. these stories they are in ukrainian and they are not translated into english or is it somewhere a version in english uh, no unfortunately <laughs> <laughs> i don't have enough time but I, I cannot say a little bit about it this one about a mother who waiting her son from captivity and uh, he now returned but we know that now 103 persons uh, um, chernobyl defenders from national guards of ukraine now uh, in russian captivity how many 103 persons 103 mm -hmm. yeah so yeah and uh, some of them returned uh, in january right yeah if five persons mistaken. returned so. only five it was 108 now yeah, it's 103 yeah, yeah. So Okay, so uh, I actually think that, oh, I see something in English in here. Uh, that phrase that uh, uh, was actual and relevant before the New Year and Christmas because uh, people all over the world uh, just feel this Christmas uh, mood and uh, give presents and uh, spend money and uh, like emotional um, resource for New Year and mm -hmm. these uh, celebrations. But at the same time, people who are now uh, endured uh, in Russian captivity, they are now there, they now and during New Year, and we n all know this, um, like, oh, okay, tortures. mocking tortures. Yes. Yeah. So, um, I remember another story from another mother uh, whose son now in captivity, and she says that she received one photo from Dela, like, uh, like, Russia gives our soldiers uh, a law that they are <laughs> passed to mm -hmm. and ah, they sent a uh, yeah, mm -hmm. photo of her son uh, and uh, she saw the, uh, him and said that he looks like a person who are now 50 but in passport he is 20 years old so the tortures changed his um, his physiognomy, yes. Mm. He, his maybe, body completely. Yeah, maybe okay, we can uh, guys, I just wanted to say that this exhibition is actually the same that we've uh, been encountering two weeks ago, but these paintings, they are still for sale. So yeah. you can actually buy all of these that you will see here today. That's, I think, all that's left unsold, right? Lisa, if I'm not mistaken. No, no, you can buy all of them. And now we added one more. Uh -huh. from Vadim. Ooh. Maybe your audience already know his Yeah, his Vadim Yudlitsky, we yeah. actually sold uh, one yeah. of the paintings and, and we sold it, uh, well, I forgot like the word, for but for, for 750, oh, okay, I think. Maybe, yeah. That's the was the most expensive one. Yeah. And I really like this one, his style, first of all, and this one also, because it's uh, just the same style as the previous and one. And this time all money will be sending for a charity mm -hmm. uh, collection, for two charity collections, two different, uh, half and a half. Uh, mm -hmm. for example. So there's, there's a new fundraiser that you're doing. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that's always like that in Ukraine. <laughs> I know that because I do them a lot. Okay, guys. So uh, just we're just gonna go. Maybe I can t uh, tell a little bit about what happened on Chernobyl station in power plant. Yes, of course. Yes, as it happened in first f full scale day. Uh, I don't like to name it full scale because we have war for 10 years from mm -hmm. 2014. But on uh, 24th uh, February in 2022, Russia occupied uh, power plant, Chernobyl power plant, and um, um, like captured it. Uh, at the same time, mm -hmm. both uh, soldiers and like civil people who are working on the station. Mm -hmm. And from the first day, they started to uh, torture people. They asked them to uh, dress of uh, equipment of the radiation. And we don't have any choice to protect them because this like place we, where we can't uh, uh, shoot, we can't protect because they're like an. Um, Nuclear. With uh, with uh, hmm. Actually, yeah. okay. <laughs> there are nuclear um, blocks, and we can't uh, have a war there. Have any uh, shooting? So Russia use it, and uh, these uh, Russian forces who go on Kiev, they use it like a base, like a base of uh, relax, because they know that our forces, Ukrainian forces, can't uh, protect us them. So. They captured the 169 uh, um, Chernobyl defenders national, from National Guards. And now uh, there are, as we already said, 103 persons who are now in Russian captivity for, for, um, yeah, yeah. for almost two years. For, yeah, 23 months now. And uh, I think, unfortunately, it will be longer and longer, maybe for three years and more. Because Russia don't want to uh, change uh, our soldiers, because they don't need their soldiers. They have this like a meat in Ukrainian. They yeah. name it, unfortunately. Cannon fodder in English. Uh, also, in, in the last two exchanges, they have taken the regular prisoners. Not you know prisoners yeah. of war who were prisoners before. Yeah, that's so crazy. that's the most needed people there in Russia. Yeah. <laughs> Typical maybe Russia. We can speak uh, a little let's bit. maybe also speak about this one. This one is called cold um, because the, it's a new one. Um, I see cold here. Do you see cold here? <laughs> yeah, I, I can see sky and for me it's like a symbol of hope for persons who are waiting for their r relatives and uh, what is cap captivity? This is when the child burned when uh, the father already are in uh, captivity, for example, um, you are pregnant women and then, uh, then you can't see your husband for, for years, for months. Uh, for example, uh, your husband are uh, in uh, captivity or your son, as we say it about some uh, ladies who give us interviews. Uh, this is also a kind of abstract work, I say. And uh, uh, to be honest, I don't have a long conversation with mm -hmm. Vadum about this mm -hmm. because uh, with the first one he uh, explains that, mm -hmm. that his feelings about his brother who are now uh, in the front line, who are now uh, in uh, Okop. <laughs> Uh, trench. Trench, yes. Trench, yeah. And he don't know if he he doesn't know if his brother can drink some tea, some water, can can go, can phone, or something like some ordinary things for us and people over the world. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Lisa, about this one, uh, we already discussed yeah, it a lot yeah. on the previous in the previous video, guys. I just want you to remind uh, how bad conditions are there, especially concerning food. And, yes. and in what photo, condition are soldiers again back? This photo taken after a period of uh, rehabilitation. So, Ooh, uh, really? so our soldiers uh, returned in more harmful um, yeah, situations. In I even say. worse condition. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we didn't discuss this painting uh, in the previous um, in the previous video, yeah. so maybe you can tell me what uh, a bit this more. This is a collage this. from Van Gogh uh, painting. Uh, art and uh, uh, post-impressionist without <laughs> air, yes, Van Gogh, and um, also a photo of uh, Ukrainian photographer Polipchak from Kherson. This is made in, in uh, uh, spring in 2023. 
uh, one year ago nearly, and um, this is uh, uh, like a torturous room uh, in Kherson, and uh, in this room, uh, according to official data, uh, there was uh, like uh, one, uh, three hundreds of people, uh, kids, uh, grandmothers, like uh, old one, and uh, just civil people who, um, whom Russia asked for some details about war. I don't know what they want to ask, but we can see here glory to to Moscovia. <laughs> Moscovia. We can't pronounce yeah. word Russia here, guys, especially from the capital letter. Uh, <laughs> but they're all yeah. capital. So uh, I don't think I would love to hang it on my wall. Yeah. But maybe some people uh, would like to, uh, like, like the reminder yeah. of how it is to be tortured in her own basement. Yeah. Um, this but, uh, works. I, I understand that that's, that's they art. look a little <laughs> bit, a little bit uh, s uh, full of sadness. Yes, but yes. Uh, this is symbol of uh, of your donations and uh, taking part in our uh, one process. At the same time, um, also people, however, donating, and you can just donate. Uh, uh, How much is it? Just one hundred and two. Uh, uh, no, one thousand and two hundred yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's basically, just a second, let me count, uh, around, what, thirty-five bucks? Yeah, uh, from French 40. artist, funny Levanture, sorry to, mm -hmm. <laughs> to spell it in <laughs> yeah, not correct in French. Fanny yeah. uh, Le Chevalier. Le Chevalier. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not a French guy and <laughs> never uh, Someone, learned, yeah. but I'm guessing, you know. <laughs> uh, let's go to the yeah. next one. We discussed this one with yeah. Darina last time. It is also untitled, guys. It is still for sale, only 2,000 hrenas, which is basically 55 bucks. Yeah, the art author is from Finland. Mm. He's created this artwork special for the exhibition. And maybe we can go on From that side, side. Uh, let's maybe f uh, discuss this one because we didn't discuss it last time. Okay, yeah. Uh, you can just uh, put camera a little bit closer because here you can see uh, blue and yellow colors wow. in the eyes. And um, in these eyes you can see a lot of stories. I mean like uh, both of civil people and for soldiers who are just uh, have this... Uh, who are exhausted on the front line for 10 years of war and uh, at the same time civil people who are injured on Russian missiles attack like uh, yesterday four people died in Kyiv because of Russia and uh, okay <laughs> that's it uh, I think these eyes are very very tired you can see it by the look and yeah. this one is called unspoken um, okay Lisa guide me to the other side yeah. Let's go. Mm. Yeah, guys, look, there are wings on the wall here, too. Uh, this is the library. Um, and, oh, should we go to this one? Oh, uh, yeah, but maybe mm -hmm. we have already discussed it with uh, mm, No, not, okay. not last this, time. This uh, map of Ukraine <laughs> is Crimea, yes. Uh, uh, made by Polish author, uh, and she, uh, like, uh, created with, with uh, newspapers about Ukrainian Russian Ukrainian war. Uh, of course, it's not only about captivity, uh, but uh, you can see here a Russian dictator. And uh, this photo from Mari Mariupol, maybe you remember this one from film Mariupol. That, uh, oh, yeah, I went to the yeah, cinema yeah. to watch it. That, that I was really hard. Recommend it to yeah, I recommend audience. it to everyone also, guys. This is called <sighs> All Around. Uh, what? The news, all around the news, yeah, like made in 2023. Here you can see a Ploshe Ukraine. Of course, it's not. <laughs> uh, so it says the size yeah. of the painting is 603,628 square yeah. kilometers. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Maybe we should go here. I would. I would like to tell you about Brave to Rebuild volunteering organization because it's really important. Um, this um, things is from ruined houses in Kyiv region. Of course, there are like ruined houses thanks to Russia in Khersonsk region, in Kharkivsk region, and uh, of course in Donetsk, Lugansk regions. 
Crimea, etc. But uh, you can see here, here like metallical things and uh, from uh, glass, like a dish, yes? Porcelain, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and why? Because this one, not uh, like Stratis uh, Popul, and not become uh, nothing. Ash, Popul, uh, Ash, yeah. uh, not become Ash, yeah. After the. Um, Rocket strike? Yeah, like. Um, bomb strikes yeah, and, and shelling three stuff also. you can see here uh, kids shoes kids crocs and mm -hmm. uh, some toys and maybe everyone have uh, their favorite toys in their childhood and we can understand that um, kids who are uh, injured uh, this uh, missiles and bombs uh, uh, all of that they uh, they even uh, hadn't this uh, time of childhood and happiness mm -hmm. Yeah, so a lot of childhoods ruined. Yeah, and we, we speak uh, here also uh, about uh, um, f food, about uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> food? Famine. Famine, yes. Because yeah. uh, people don't even have the place where they can eat. This artwork uh, from Elena Iva, Ukrainian artist, is also a little bit uh, connected with it because Russia used. Uh, uh, hunger? Hunger, uh, not first time. We know that in the last century we have four... Uh, All the moors. Yeah, yeah, yes. Four families. Uh, this um, artwork named Palamitsa, that made like uh, from uh, our bodies. Also, I think it's allusion for one Ukrainian novel from Maria Matyos, Solotka mm -hmm. Darusa, sweet Darusa, that name, Darusa. Mm -hmm. uh, this, uh, I, sh I really recommend to read it, because it's also connected with our history. And also, we have, uh, we can see here a window with ruined house. And I know one Polish author, Jan Prutki, who used this uh, metaphorical <laughs> visual uh, allusion and said that, uh, when we just look in our windows, in our soul, uh, that's about our experience. And uh, when we already look uh, in them, mm -hmm. then uh, we can feel like uh, something terrible. And for Ukrainians, uh, this is really unfortunately relevant. This one from uh, this culture from um, Pablo Bogdan and this is about hope in our head that growing up every day because we are waiting for our, um, our relative from Russian captivity. Mm -hmm. uh, about we should also mention that Palamitsa uh, costs yeah. 40,000 renas which is more than a thousand dollars uh, yeah. approximately one thousand and one hundred dollars it is still avail available guys if anyone is interested just uh, of course you can just send me the donation but <laughs> you can tell me about it before buying it um, I think that there's a lot of very interesting artwork here and this is um, very much underrated uh, oh, of course the you know, the price of that painting is close to what yeah. it costs, but maybe it still can uh, get a, a bit yeah. or maybe even more. We choose this so price as special for Ukrainian auditory because we understand that people who are now in Ukraine because of eco economics uh, problems in Ukraine mm -hmm. can't uh, um, afford. afford them to buy it. So we we just make it some charity <laughs> selling <laughs> yes this artwork also from funny from colleges from friends and this is a college uh, from um, ukrainian photographer petrov uh, this made in borodyanka in uh, 2022 mm -hmm. 2022 uh, yeah. yeah and uh, what we can see some ruins and uh, when this photo was taken the people are uh, still under the ruins so oh. there are people under the ruins and at the same time here we can see uh, um, Virgili uh, and Dante uh, Dante mm -hmm. and Virgil in uh, hell in hell this uh, is a work from 17th century uh, from um, French artist Bougro if mm -hmm. I don't say yes so uh, maybe your audience some of them want to buy it and uh, locate in office you know it's like a symbol of uh, of this uh, 
terrible war that there are, that is our reality, unfortunately. Yeah, this one is powerful. Uh, I, I like it, even though it is grim, and it is, but it's a reminder, right? Yeah. Here one uh, printed artwork, uh, but in real life um, uh, we, we can't <laughs> um, sell the real one work because it's located in uh, uh, Korea, but at the same time in uh, Deutschland, in Germany. <laughs> yeah. You can say Deutschland, <laughs> it's going to be the proper <laughs> name. <laughs> yeah, and um, this one is printed, it, we can see here a red uh, net, red uh, lines, mm -hmm. and stitches. also oh. yeah, stitches and um, white, and uh, as uh, the author says, uh, say it, say it, this Gisekim artist, uh, she mm -hmm. said that uh, it's because war connected with all of us, it uh, contains uh, people all of the world and uh, you can see that this uh, some uh, ribs uh, like connect people in different uh, situations like this is just a photo made in um, shoot it, shoot it, photo shoot it mm -hmm. uh, in the streets so yes and it look a little bit more positive <laughs> that another one for example Nazar Ivanyuk <laughs> uh, maybe also untitled yeah. It oh looks oh like Munk, uh, you know, Munk of the um, artists. Uh, yeah, I think I know. Krik, uh, um, shout, shout. Yeah, the scream. Scream, yeah. 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 Uh, the one that do the screaming on the road. Uh, yeah, yeah, on the bridge and. Uh, yeah, and so I. So <laughs> you have uh, Sarah, uh, and. Uh, this one is untitled. It, its cost is nine thousand hryvnias, which is just a bit more than two hundred dollars. I think two hundred and thirty. Um. Yes, it's enormous work. I really like it and <laughs> I would like to buy it mm -hmm. after the exhibitions, but I don't know. <laughs> it would be better to sell it, I think. So um, it is abstracted work and uh, you can see here a lot of dark colors, uh, black um, especially. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of red, I think that goes for blood. Yeah, we can see teeth and uh, this is about uh, person's feeling in captivity, in Russian captivity, where they I don't know even uh, will be there alive uh, for next day, because we know that Russia uh, do sometimes fake, uh, like shooting, rostrily, uh, they just... Uh, oh yeah, they pretend to yeah. shoot uh, our prisoners and then just stop at the very last second yeah. and put them back into the cell. Yeah, okay, I'll also, I, I can also show you some uh, cool places in this library, maybe you know, awesome. Ma Maetnik Foucault. But we still need to okay, finish yeah, with yeah, these uh, these paintings. Okay, which one was not discussed? I think we have this discussed one. this. Uh, yeah, about this one Azov wasn't Star. discussed. Uh, wow, that's it, it's how do you call it? Yeah, you can <laughs> see here Kiev, Andreevska uh, Church, and uh, some. Mm -hmm. uh, Parts of Kiev, and this is about uh, our soldiers, our uh, forces who protect us. Because uh, we all understand that if uh, we don't have our soldiers, uh, I mean not only men's women and they uh -huh. they protect us, and our being here and everyday life uh, um, connected uh, with it. So we need to be grateful and. I feel that, I think my friends also feel this that. This one is also printed on plastic. Yeah. Its starting price is just hmm, about $27. Do you have English explanation? Oh, yeah. there's actually an English explanation here, guys. You can put this video on pause and read it. Just let me hold it properly. Yeah, okay. This two works from uh, author from Kherson. Wow. And he said that his friends was in Russian captivity uh, during the occupation uh -huh. in this uh, tortuous room that we showed mm -hmm. uh, in the basement, a little so. bit before. And yes, uh, we can see here like... Uh, mm, actually, I actually don't know uh, how Kalucha Provoka is called in English, so... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we can see the fans, and fans of crosses. This one looks a little bit uh, like uh, Malevich, uh, uh, Malevich Ukrainian artist who uh, creates suprematism, this uh, uh, genre in art. Mm -hmm. And um, 
why it is looks a little bit the same because the Malevich also uh, except of black square have uh, a theory about uh, Holodomor mm. and also have wow. this uh, uh, Ukrainian um, houses that looks like a uh, um, mohi mohi uh, like uh, a graves like a graves like uh, people dying in villages during the Holodomor in 20th century mm. thanks for Russia again yeah. and uh, and this is terrible and uh, mm, I understand. Well, uh, <laughs> thank for that. Yes. And we yeah. discussed this one uh, last time. What else are we missing? Something behind uh, Vadim Yudichki, right? Yeah. There is a painting. Maybe we were discussing it already? This no, we haven't. This artwork also from Polish author. And she, um, she saw shows uh, our um, pain because of because of all of that, because I understood that uh, this is really hard to <laughs> to be <laughs> to be um, psychological stable, you know, uh, when when your friends die in uh, like nearly every day, when someone uh, need to uh, be a refugee and you can't see your your kids, and this this is really. And also, we can see a uh, uh, glass here uh, that is mm -hmm. breaking, uh, mm -hmm. breaking glasses. Uh, and uh, this um, about these uh, attacks that uh, we have uh, nearly every day in different Ukrainian cities, especially in Sumo, Kherson, Dnipro. Yeah, and those uh, close to the front line, yeah. they are constantly being shelled. Okay, yeah. uh, Lisa, so. Uh, you wanted to show me something here yeah. in the library. Yeah. I think we're we done with the exhi exhibition, guys. Yeah. Just a second, Lisa. Uh, I want to say that uh, we, yeah, you saw the prices. You yeah. also can ask me. I will ask Lisa if you need some sure. more details. Yeah, let's uh, raise even more money for Hospitaliere yeah. uh, with these paintings. And uh, maybe I can tell a little bit about more more about Hospitaliers. Yeah, of These course. people who uh, um, saved uh, soldiers' life, uh, but at the same time they're working uh, at like ordinary jobs. So they uh, take a uh, holiday holiday weekend, mm -hmm. uh, like, a uh, with Pustko. Pustko, uh, like a week off or yeah, like a, a week, week off, off and go on the front line in hot uh, points, in dangerous points, and save people's life. And of course they need money uh, to buy like medical equipment, to uh, buy uh, some uh, drinketi, mm -hmm. bin, binti, medical equipment, yeah. yes, and pillows, and that's really important because that's saving lives of our soldiers and uh, uh, not only soldiers, like civil people, that's, um, we're, we are really grateful to medicals because they save our soldiers' lives and our mm -hmm. soldiers save our lives. And um, this one, <laughs> not about exhibition, this is uh, Maitnik Foucault. Uh, now it's not working, uh, but um, in, uh, in the daytime, if uh, <laughs> the security uh, push it, you know how it works uh, because of the uh, air storming. Mm -hmm. um, this one uh, not uh, go just from left to right, but mm -hmm. go like a circle in different angels, and you can see uh, uh, a docus, toho, do mm, docus, the proof, the proof that our Earth uh, turning around. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's physical uh, e experiments. <laughs> when this exhibition started today, and you were speaking on the mic. Yeah. I saw it, it was moving, oh, cool. so it just stopped around, yeah, actually 10 minutes ago it was still mm -hmm. moving. But also it there mm -hmm. are a new shelter for students because it's really a big problem because in my uni, in Tarasna Shevchenko uni, we don't have a large uh, shelter and uh, this one is new one because I think some uh, uh, European donations help us and it looks really cool and I hope it will save life, save uh, students' life. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can go there, I don't know if 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 you have time. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, can go there. Also in this library there are um, a lot of conference and costen, uh, contents uh, like uh, science uh, lectures mm -hmm. and uh, um, Japan uh, Center here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a flag of Japan up there. Let's yeah. go around and, yeah. and show it. Uh, there's also some 
exhibition yeah. there. Uh, they are just old uh, photos. <laughs> <laughs> ah, they are photos of uh, the university, probably. Or just a library? Um, no. <laughs> Let's see. But it's also interesting, and I like this uh, light for me, like a curator, this like a uh, cool hawk. This original documents from uh, pages, history of um, Kyiv Polytechnic University. Mm -hmm. that this library also connected with Kyiv Polytechnic University. Mm -hmm. um, I like these photos. This looks interesting. <laughs> It's like a caric uh, caricature. Mm -hmm. no, I actually yeah. don't know the English word for <laughs> this. Uh, caricature, uh, let it be. Maybe I think it's French uh, word. Probably sounds like that. Yeah. So you're currently a student, but of uh, other university, yeah. right? But I studied here in Lyceum uh -huh. uh, near Capri. <laughs> uh -huh. So you actually I studying connected with in two. Places? Uh, yes, but uh, in university, not in uh, Kyiv Polytechnic. But, but I think it's it's okay, and I think our education is in high level. Of course, I hope we'll uh, like increase it. We'll mm -hmm. do it maybe in English, because as you can hear oh me, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we have philosophical in English in university, and I even don't understand Schopenhauer in Ukraine, <laughs> so <laughs> it's hard for me to, uh, to speak about him in English. <laughs> A lot of historical photos here, guys, you yeah, see. Yeah, that's interesting, and thanks for them, we can understood that this place is full of uh, some historical events, and uh, Kyiv, um, in, in all angels, I think, all of these mm -hmm. <laughs> historical moments. Yeah, you're right. Angles, you probably meant, oh, right? Oh, yes, sorry. Uh, <laughs> angels <laughs> is a bit, um, how do you call it, confusing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. <laughs> but uh, that's, yeah, that's interesting. That's uh, yes. an interesting place, uh, I think, uh, Also, place. we'll show film from Alexei Radunsky, this Ukrainian director about Chernobyl. Mm -hmm. uh, this is named Chernobyl 22, this documental film. Uh, I hope we'll have this event here. Okay, and uh, I we're think... We're going to actually yeah, uh, yeah. film that morale and probably finish this video. Yeah, yes, okay. it's a library after all, so we got to be a bit quiet. Yeah. Uh, and we also got to ask the consent of the people we're filming. Do you give your voluntary consent? <laughs> yes. Okay. That's my friends. Uh, they will give. <laughs> they will give the consent. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, that, that's a beautiful morale. Okay, so you wanted to go to the shelter? Okay, let's try. Maybe you can stop video or, or no, because uh, it yeah, can I'll be stop a little it. bit long. Oh, just a second. No, I think we probably, hmm, yeah, I'll stop it. I usually try not to stop them. Okay, let's go fast. <laughs> okay, let's go fast. <laughs> we can actually be talking about that. Yeah. Um, okay. Do we no need security? someone to, to mm. guide us there? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's check. Uh, I wanted to ask you, Lisa, uh, so are you from here, from Kyiv? Or from somewhere else in Ukraine? Yeah, I'm from Kyiv, but uh, I traveled a little bit um, over Ukraine. And I want to tell about another pro problem because of occupation. Mm -hmm. This uh, connected with environment. Maybe you know island Jarl Gash in, in mm -hmm. Khersonska region. Yeah. And now it's occupied, but it was like a place where was uh, just a nature and no, no, <laughs> no military points. And Okay, it's opened. <laughs> nice, we're in the basement. It smells this like fresh there. paint. Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, on Jarelgash, I was here there for just for three days. <laughs> and um, um, I want to tell that um, before Russian occupied it, there was like different uh, animals, uh, uh, k kinds of animals, different. Uh, mm -hmm nature and there was rules not to have barbecue on the island and and there was rules and people really protect the nature but russians uh, mean, uh, put means there like and um, uh, put some uh, sand to 
the cosa, to the cos. C split, I think they call it like that. And the or C split. And fishers diet. So I hope we will deoccupate Jarlo Gach and all territory. Uh -huh. Close. It is close. <laughs> that, that's not good. Because <laughs> you. Yeah, okay, because in we'll case of uh, air raid siren, okay. we gotta yeah. be able to get. Maybe in. we can ask uh, the security, but uh, I know that the library uh, closed at night, so you can use it just during your education time, during day. But but we can see <laughs> the stairs and... Uh, I must say it is warm in here, warmer than up there. Yeah. <laughs> that's the... Oh, that's one great thing. Well, uh, thank you for uh, this tour anyway. This is thank you. an interesting corridor. <laughs> I mean, tour <through> there. <laughs> but of course, uh, all the tour of the exhibition. I'm happy that we were able to talk about more paintings and uh, yeah, I really uh, hope that people want to buy more and yeah. donate uh, to Hospitaliera with that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for this conversation, Lisa, and thank you for the great job you're doing. Thanks. Bye.